This is Yuri's Lady Fernandez reporting for Miami Today. In this week's profile, we sat down with Maria Elena Ibanez. She's the president of Intermark Foods, producer of El Latino products based here in Doral. The product line is sold in supermarkets across South Florida and she hopes to expand the brand nationally. But this is not the first time that Ms. Ibanez has had success at forming a company. She's done this twice before. She built two companies, starting them from the ground up and turning them into two top performing companies, which she later sold. But her focus now is on expanding a Latino brands. In the years to come, she hopes to have the brand sold in supermarkets across the U.S. so that others can enjoy her product line. Well, I was really looking to do two things, to have a company that was local, where I can get in my car and see my customer. And the second is I wanted to build a brand, because I had built a brand for my computers. So I wanted a low tech where my technology background could give me a competitive advantage. So researching food was among the top three industries that leverage logistics and inventory control. And food I knew because I grew up in the food industry. And I had already somebody I could hire. So I, I made the decision in five days. No more research, no business plan, nothing. I jumped in and built, built the business plan as I went alone. When I decided to build a brand, I said, okay, let's find, we, Miami is the perfect place to build a Hispanic brand. So I went out and looked at what was going on in the market, just visiting the stores realized it was very fragmented. There was one clear leader, and there were many smaller brands, which is excellent for jumping in. It looks like the computer market in the 80s. So I said, okay, it's fragmented. I can come in quickly, uh, offer an authentic product, nostalgic, and go where the big guy is not present. So I went around the leader. So I started in the refrigerator section because the leader wasn't there. In the refrigerator section, cheese was one of the best sellers. So I said, okay, let's build the cheese line and it has to be perfectly authentic. So that's my focus. And that's why uh, the consumer buys one product. When I launch a second product, they know it's gonna be authentic. So they automatically go to the next one and the next one. I have very loyal consumers.